so I guess we're gonna move to Italy now. <laughs> And this is gonna be my Italy move vlog, which I wasn't sure when I was gonna start, but I think tonight's the night. So it's currently, my Aunt Bonnie's here. Hi. And if you refer back to the Hawaii move vlog, my Aunt Bonnie helped me pack up my apartment for Hawaii move, and now she's here helping me with my clothes. So it's Friday, July 8th. 8th. Friday, July 8th, and I have not packed a single thing. Not one item has been put into these suitcases, but I have gathered everything. So everything's been gathered, but nothing's been packed. So it's Friday, I leave Sunday morning, and we're gonna start the packing process tonight. Step one, dresses is the first thing we're gonna tackle. Okay. This is my stack of dresses, and this is Dolly, She's playing sad. a huge role in the move. <laughs> And we're gonna try to get everything semi ready to go into my two suitcases, one duffel backpack, and just a bunch of stuff. I feel like this is what I'm always doing rolling up and packing you to fly away. Always. Like a professional packer. It's a group effort and it's fun. Yeah, you're sitting on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we're thinking for the pants. I think That's I can do boring. without one of these, but I don't know which one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. See, that's that, perfect. That just gets so heavy. Like a little pancake. Oh my gosh. See, they're so, it's so heavy. That's what we have to be careful with the weight bird. Why does it get, well, I mean, it's like. It looks like dad's it, charcuterie cheeses. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. But I mean, you know. Okay, guys. It is officially the night before the big move to Italy. I really didn't vlog much last night because it was kind of chaotic. Trying to get the majority of the packing done. Basically, the vacuum sealed bags was the major game changer. We got all of my clothes packed last night. And then today's been kind of a slow day. Like, woke up this morning. My mom and I went and got our nails done and just kind of like it was kind of like a slow like random day it was like rainy so we kind of waited to do the rest of the packing until tonight because there wasn't really that much left to do so let me just show you guys kind of what we're working with so that bag the blue is my all my clothes which we used this little device which was a major game changer and we've been this travel smart device by Conair that's kind of random we've used this travel smart device that bag is 49 pounds that's all my clothes and then this bag is left and all my toiletry shoes makeup is all in that bag and then that's pretty much done this is my backpack it was sent to me by this company called wondered and this is gonna be my backpack for all of my like weekend traveling in Europe and like all the little trips to do because it's like a duffel bag backpack but for the plane tomorrow I have carry-on toiletries because like you never know what's gonna happen all my medicine my books journal this is a barefoot dream shawl my mom got me a travel shawl it's literally heavenly and that's all gonna go in here and then I'm gonna have my fanny pack that matches my backpack and that'll just be for me to like easy access my passport, my wallet and stuff. Tonight has just been like toiletries um, and that stuff. I definitely had like an emotional night last night because leaving is always kind of difficult. I made a video talking about this today, but just like the days leading up to a big move are so emotional for me. I'm just like an emotional person, but I can definitely tell a huge difference between this year and then this time last year when I was moving to Hawaii and I was so anxious and so fearful and I think this year it's just been like I just dread telling people bye honestly um but other than that like it's been really smooth the packing has been really smooth and I'm just praying for smooth days tomorrow also I'm literally filming this against all odds because I ordered a new camera charger because I lost mine ordered the wrong one literally posted an Instagram story asking if anyone in Oxford had this camera charger. Someone had this charger, so I went and picked it up from her. I put the battery in my camera, and 
it like wouldn't work for a while so I just was like this is a lost cause but started working so I think that I meant to vlog the move and I really want to take you guys along the move with me oh here's mom mm -hmm. this has been the woman behind the move guys my savior <laughs> she's about to die <laughs> okay I can't do it anymore <laughs> And Christy has been a champion of the packing. How do you compare this process to Hawaii, like packing? I think we had a better game plan and our way was better this time. Yeah. You still took too many bathing suits, I think, but... I yeah, mean, like when I moved to Hawaii, I felt like packing was so chaotic and we overpacked, but I really think I've done a good job not overpacking yeah. for this trip so far. Like the fact that I had one suitcase only for clothes and then and like I know this might sound like absurd, but like for me this is a huge deal. To be able to fit everything in two suitcases and a carry-on is like a big accomplishment. The bad hat was a winner. Yeah. I'm feeling really good right now about the morning. I'm definitely feeling a lot more calm this go around. Obviously I have more of a peace of mind about it because even though Hawaii wasn't out of the country, it was a really far move and I know that I did it once, so I'm feeling good about doing it again. With a big move like this, I think emotions come in waves for sure. Like yesterday, I was really kind of sad and a little bit chaotic um, this morning. I'm really calm tonight. I feel at peace, and I know that there's a plan for this move, and everything's already written out, and the doors have been opened for us, and now it's just time to go. We are gonna try to leave at 7 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm gonna set my alarm for probably 6, get dressed, and head to the Memphis airport and start my travel day. And I'm gonna do my very best to vlog tomorrow and bring you guys along with me. Even if it means vlogging in public in the airport, I'm gonna do it for you. So I will see you guys all in the morning, and we're gonna have a great travel day and move to Italy. Okay guys, it's showtime. It's moving day. Let's do a little fit check real quick. This is my outfit for today's big adventure. I have this little button up, um, black set. I have a Lulu bra underneath in case I get hot on the plane. Feeling good right now. Spirits are still high. That's all we can ask for on a move day is just to be in a good mood. Okay guys, loaded up in the car. Time to head all smiles to the airport. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I woke up today having a lot of peace about the move. What about you, Mom? She already cried in the car, but. Um, yeah, I feel good about it. Just like, you know, this is what it is. You gotta go. I mean, thank God for me, I'm all you have left to take you there. I know. Thank shoot. God for me. If I didn't have you, I wouldn't even get to the airport. <laughs> You'd be in the neighborhood. I know. My whole family fleed. <laughs> Ready for a good airport drop off. <laughs> we shall see. I'm trying to be really strong. <laughs> I can do it. I can do hard things. You got it. I've done plenty of hard things. Let's do it. All right. All right. I need a selfie right now. Before. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Cinematic video. Okay guys, we're in the Memphis airport. Check-in went really, really smoothly. I'm really happy with how that went because I was really nervous about the check-in because I don't have a return flight. So I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. Um, but it was super easy and I'm really, really grateful that it went the way that it did. In the Memphis airport now with my mom because we came super early because we weren't sure about like the lines and all this stuff but ultimately I'm glad we came and we did because he said like in an hour it's gonna be a zoo and we literally just were able to walk right up to the desk and talk with them and get all my bags checked and all my bags were like 52 and both of them were like 52 and they didn't say anything they just let it go we always say that we don't know what people are doing when they're at the airport just yeah. like chilling out basically we've <laughs> never been relaxed in an airport ever so for we're us three to be, hours early like i've always looked at these little seats that are like in front of security and i've been like who sits there like who has time to sit there and actually be relaxed 
If they just had a Starbucks here, we'd be good to go. My mom just said, what are you gonna do when you don't have me and you're embarrassed to vlog? Like, I don't Why know. is it when your mom is present, things aren't as embarrassing? Because when you're teenagers, if your mom's present, it's embarrassing. But then as you get older, it's not embarrassing. I don't yeah. understand. So we're just we're just posted up, just chilling. I have an hour and 50 minutes until my flight takes off. And we're just watching the world go by. <laughs> it's currently 9.05. My flight takes off at 11.30. At 10 I board at 10 so we get Starbucks. Yeah. Christy has a massage that so she has to get to. So tell this little lady goodbye. Say bye vlog for a little bit. Bye. Uh, no, you'll be missing now. I know. This is it. There'll be no KB content. <laughs> okay. Peace. Peace. Okay guys, I'm in Memphis. Memphis Airport recently redid their entire airport, so it's so nice. There's all these little chairs. It's never been like this. Pop off went really well. I was really proud of my mom. She did a great job. I actually didn't cry, which is crazy because when I went to Hawaii last year, I also didn't cry. And I think it's just because the emotional part for me is always like before the move. like. A couple days before I get kind of emotional and then the actual day of the move I feel like I'm just more like excited to go but my mom did a great job on her solo drop-off and now I have Starbucks strawberry lemonade and I'm about to board my flight to Atlanta so that'll be a really short flight and then hopefully in Atlanta I'll have some time to gather myself before the long flight to Paris so far so good I definitely feel God's hand in this move so far with everything that's gone so smoothly and just like the sweet people that I've ran into today. So, so far so good and I'll keep you guys updated. Made it to Atlanta, got some lunch, some snacks. My flight from Memphis to Atlanta was super easy, it was really smooth. Made it to Atlanta, got to the international gate and just got some lunch and now I'm waiting to get on my flight to Paris. My flight times were changed though so I'm actually arriving earlier and the flight's like only seven hours so that's really nice. Um, my flight was great, gonna board in like 30 minutes and get on the flight to Paris. And so far, so good. vlog at all on the flight it's just gonna be probably like a montage of traveling videos you don't do much yeah the flight. the flight both of our flights are very so smooth. easy I flew from New York yeah so it was only ended up only being six hours five and five hours and 40 minutes and like that I flew from where did I even fly from I flew you from flew Atlanta, Atlanta. The, it was like only seven maybe seven and a half but like we cut off like an hour and 15 minutes oh thank you it was Yes, I also cut off an hour and a half. My flight left here. My flight left an hour and 20 minutes late. So I thought I wasn't gonna make it here in time, but um, we did. Yeah. My flights were so smooth. I watched three movies. I watched King Richard, National National oh, National Championship, and Parent Trap. And it went by like that. And then I landed in Paris. The the landing here and getting to this terminal was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I just followed the signs all the way through. And then I was here for like probably 45 minutes and then I found Perry. So the craziest thing right now is the time difference. So it's 7.51 a.m. And 
So it's like we skipped a whole night of sleep and just started like a whole new day. But we haven't slept yet. In Oxford it's like midnight and now it's about to be 8 a.m. So that's kind of crazy, but we're gonna have a drink. Cheers, Gary. We made it. One more flight to go. Almost to Italy. Landed in Florence. No longer traveling solo. So basically, Perry and I are idiots and we got off of our flight and completely walked past baggage claim, completely walked past it and exited the airport. And then we were like, well, we went through customs. We went through customs and then we left the airport, which also customs was like the weirdest, like, shortest questioning ever so we leave that we leave the secure location we can't get to our bags so we have been taken through all of the lost bags long story short we left the airport without getting our bags and baggage claim was inside of the airport not outside so they wouldn't let us go back in to get our bags so we had to go through all of this like the back doors. security checkpoints and the back side to try to find our bags and we were taking this like bag wasteland where there was like millions of bags thank you Quick. millions of bags that were unclaimed yeah but then when i was about to give up hope and have an absolute come apart this beautiful man perry look at me like i look like a mess perry goes that's my bag and this man is strolling our bags right past us as if fate like us. we were about to give up hope. Um, moral to the story, when you exit the Florence airport, make sure you hit up baggage claim before you leave. It's on the other side of customs. Yeah. So anyways, now we're in our transfer and we're gonna go to our apartment. And I think and the, deli the delirium is starting to set and that's why it was so like unnerving because it's just like we're exhausted. At this point, I've been traveling for over a day. So anyways. We're here now, so let's call the apartment and tell them we're here. So the journey continues. Perry and I got dropped off at our apartment, but we can't check in until maybe two or three. So now we have to wait, so now we're gonna eat lunch at this place and they let us put all of our bags in here. Like literally our bags are taking up the entire entryway of this restaurant. Here's the restaurant. And all of our bags are taking up this whole little area. And I just threw up. Here, okay, I didn't even know if you, I didn't know if you wanted to vlog about being yet. sick. It's okay. This is an honest vlog. I just vomited. Perry was bathroom. sick. It's fine. We're good. You were sick from a combination of things. So it was like motion sickness, being hot. hungry, hot. being really hot, hot, tired. Yeah. Another thing is that I left my camera in the in the car that brought us here and I literally realized it as soon as we walked in I was like oh my gosh I left my camera and the sweet driver brought it back to me so yeah Perry's sick I lost my camera can't check in yet the bag situation but you know what I still think it's going pretty well I think the day is turning around for us now so we're just gonna eat and wait to check into our apartment hopefully sometime in the near future all right, lunch is on. Perry's feeling better. Slightly. <laughs> Starting off with some burrata. The bread's really awesome. Yeah, and a little bit of rosé. Cheers. Will you tell everyone what we're doing? Um, so we're delirious. And we're we get literally until 5:30, so we're walking around, just exploring, and our neighborhood is so cute. There's a lot of good shopping. Ooh, yeah. That. Can't get in our apartment until 5. 30 or 6 so we're gonna walk around and try to fill three hours even though we're exhausted and haven't slept in over a day I keep running into you <laughs> it's actually comical because there's all of these like gorgeous and amazing sights and we're so delirious that we can't even, can't even take a enjoy like really what's going on like my eyes are blind. we probably look like we're on drugs we're just like stumbling around doing nothing. <laughs> so, it, what time is it? 
341. 341. It's been like 10 minutes. And now we're laid out on this bench. I did buy a candle though um, for our apartment. I don't know if I told you guys this, but when we went to, when we were eating lunch, I checked into our apartment and put all of our luggage in there. But it was like, it hadn't been cleaned yet. So of course I was a little bit alarmed because it was dirty, but they're like doing some deep cleaning right now. So like it needs to be done. However, we're, oh my God, your foot scared me. We're really like delirious and- we can't get in for another two hours. Two hours. I don't even know what we're supposed to do for another two hours. But look at this pretty building. <laughs> pretty building. This is what my, Momo. this is what my, eyes are seeing as I lay on this public bench. Is this a Duomo? Yeah. Oh, okay, this is a Duomo. I'm just ready to be in our apartment and start moving stuff in and feeling settled. Because right now on this public bench, I'm not feeling super settled just yet. Okay, guys. Um, I'm coming live from my room. It has been a freaking day basically we got to Florence at like 1 30 and they told me that I wasn't gonna be able to check into the apartment until like 4:30. Um, but I came up here at 2 30 to fill out like the paperwork and get the keys and stuff and when I came in here at 2 30 it was a mess like it was really really dirty like they hadn't cleaned it that's the people who I guess the people who lived here before us had like just recently moved out so they told us they were going to come do the deep cleaning but it was already 2.30. Now it's like 6.30 and they're still here. Majority of it has been done but they're still here um, cleaning and Perry and I, they told us to wait to come until they left but we were like, we are so exhausted. We were literally sleeping like on a bench outside. We were like, we've got to like go to our apartment. We can't like sleep outside that's ridiculous um so we like came in here and my room was done being clean so we like slept in here for a little bit now i'm awake i'm still really tired and still feeling a little bit delusional but a little bit better after our nap like i'm not even kidding guys when we got here and we were walking around town we were like zombies like glazed over eyes we were like wow wow cool like it was i don't know one thing that i saw today really um <laughs> So, yeah, just kind of a hectic day with the time change and just being like really exhausted. But now I think they're finally about to leave and be done cleaning. Um, and I'm gonna start putting my room together. I'm gonna do an apartment tour video. Our apartment's furnished, but you know, I kind of like to make it my own. Um, so that always takes a little bit of time. But yeah, excited and other than the crazy luggage situation, it was a really easy travel um, day or like days, I don't even know. But other than the luggage, it was fine. So really grateful for that. And even with things that didn't go as planned, like it was still fine. So happy to be in the apartment. And now I'm gonna make my bed. Cause you guys always know I bring my own bedding everywhere that I move. Okay guys. So it is currently 8.18 p.m. on Monday, July 11th. I left on Sunday morning. So this is the first time I've slept since Saturday night. Perry and I took like a kind of a short nap when we got back here, but I was still so tired that I was like, I just can't unpack when I'm like this exhausted. So I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and like really unpack and like give it I all um, and just kind of start to make this place feel like home so I'm really excited um, and I think I'm gonna close the Italy blog here because I think the next one I'm gonna do will be a apartment tour slash like more Italy stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and close the move vlog here because we made it and we're officially in Italy and it's so far so good honestly just need to sleep so I can actually be in Italy because I've just been asleep all day. Um, 
but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for following my journey with me and coming along with me on my move. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.